Hello guys, I just wanted to share uh, some of the stuff I carry with myself when I'm on fishing. So this is my bag with uh, back benchers. So if uh, I think the stuff that I carry in my waist bag uh, is not uh, good for the purpose on the day, I just go back to my car and empty my waist bag and fill it up with lures that I think will work and will I need. Uh, this is from Lucky John Toyga. Some black flag. Maybe you never heard about them. They really work well on perch. Uh, this is floating lure, by the way. Uh, this is something that a friend of mine told me to use in the winter. You stick it to your socks and it keeps your feet warm. Especially if you are uh, wadding, wadding. It's very nice stuff. Uh, some squirms, I think they're called from, uh, what was the company, Corum, some uh, twist tails from uh, Fox Rage, those are working really well on perch as well, uh, Peter Lack of Worms, uh, some Zimans. I haven't tried those ones yet, I just don't have the physical time to try all of that. This uh, works very, very well, this is from Ponton21. And this is another box with soft plastics that if I need to switch to, I just go straight away to it. So I'll show you what is inside as well. So this is Molex, this is Ziman. Uh, those I think are made by Depths. This is cover cut. This one I have no idea what is called. However, I haven't tried them yet on perch. Maybe the cover cut will be interesting for you to see it. Well, this is how it looks. Hold on, there we go. And it's uh, soft, very heavy. You don't need any weight to, to cast that low. You simply rig it, cast it, and that's it. And just bounce it off the bottom. <coughs> so then we have uh, again some uh, crazy fish, uh, nimbles, some molix, again crazy fish. I think those were called uh, powaris, if I'm not wrong. And again crazy fish shots. The vibro shots on the other side of the box. We have uh, crazy fish, those are Chinese lures, and they're really, really good. For I mean, they're from AliExpress, yeah, from China. They work really well on perch on the drop shot, but I'll show you maybe later how I'm rigging them. Those are Zimans, and this one is made by Tsurinoya, I think. I'll show you, it's a creature bait, it's a very interesting one. Here it is, quite soft, with legs and tail. <coughs> and one of my favorite lures for chop, again from... This is made by Ilex, I think. <coughs> okay. That's my trout um, pouch. <coughs> so this is what usually I take with me when I go hunting field. I rarely use those stuff. Here it is. That's one. There's some hard lures, small spinners. More. Uh, Spoons. Here we go. Some flies. Some wobblers. That's it. <clears throat> what else do we have here? Crazy fish. This one is really good for perch in the summer. If you haven't tried it, it's a very nice one. You can uh, put it on a finesse uh, offset hook. I think decoy makes uh, hooks that will fit that uh, that uh, creature bait. So this is my other box. 
those are Tantas, Camoas, some creature bait over there, some small shots. On the other side we got <clears throat> all kind of Camoas. So if I need to switch to those, I can quickly do it. What else is here? This really works well as well on a small jig head, micro or nano jig head. And um, let it sink to the bottom and then very slowly start to retrieve it. Porch cannot resist that one. Again, fish arrow, drop shot lures. What do we have here? Oh, this one is interesting box, I'll show you now. So this is a box with creature baits. I think they're made by Raid. Oka Ebi, I think it's called that one. The rest, uh, the other one at the very right side is called um, Hawk, I think something like that. Uh, what else? This one is very interesting uh, lure. I think you can buy it from the range, the store that is called the range. And uh, it's very strong, soft plastic. It looks like a worm and it smells horrible, but it catches perch, which is very good. What else? Okay. And this is from uh, Duo. I use that one for, it's quite big lure, and I use it for big chirp. If you catch something on this one, it's usually very big. Okay, and then we move to my first box of lures. So this is my pike jerk baits. The box with my pike jerk baits. So we have some fish here. Do there we go. This, those are handmade and I still have no time to try them because I am getting different stuff all the time and I want to try them first and always I cannot find time for those. This is Mega Bus. I think I'm gonna try this one in the summer for maybe sea bass. I don't know guys if some one of you fishing sea bass let me know if you think this is gonna work. It uh, is very shiny and nice, looks like uh, maybe small chop or something. <clears throat> this is another sea bass lure, uh, it's actually for sea fishing. I forgot the company that makes it, it's uh, Devil Flutter. Well, I use it for pike, so mega bass over there. So let me show you, this one is one of my very favorite lures for its power. It's old lure, but man, this one is killing the, the pike. It's a really good one. On the other side, I hope I'm gonna find one of my lures that catches me good size perch in the summer. And I'm not gonna be scared or worried to go for to it. This one, this one is made by a uh, Chinese company, I don't remember the name, so it's from Aliexpress. Kills the pike as well, very good one, really good, uh, really good lure. Then we got a Smash Minnow by Jacao. I haven't caught any fish on it yet, to be honest with you. That's Mega Bus, that's Smash Minnow, that's Rip Riser from Imakatsu. There we go. That's quite big lure, and uh, it's a top water lure. Uh, okay, guys, this is the lure that I'm, I was looking to show you. So this lure, this is a power. So take, have a good look on it. Remember it. This one is very good for perching shallow water. I don't know why. It's like 11 centimeters. In, I think it looks like a bleak, but in the summer, especially 
at dawn, I, I always go to it. They simply cannot resist it, especially big perch. Always, always big one. Um, that's uh, another one from uh, Lucky Craft. It is, but looks very good. I haven't caught any fish on it yet. This one is made by Duo. This one for me is probably one of the best cranks I have ever used. And uh, Duo Hardcore XX crank 1 plus 65F. It's floating low. So once you feel that it, it starts hitting the bottom and if the bottom is not hard, just stop retrieve for a second and this lure is gonna rise to the top very quickly. <clears throat> And it's catching tons of pike, mostly pike. I have only one chop on them, and it was quite big as well. So imagine chop swelling. That lure has to be a big one. <clears throat> okay, we're done with that box. What do I have here? So we go to another one, and this one is full with all kind of sea fishing lures. Mega bass, do Chinese ones. This one is for a lure from AliExpress, and it's quite good to be honest with you when you walk the dog with it. Um, that's my box number one. Uh, let me show you some stuff. This is uh, OSP Ori Kanemushi. Quite good uh, lure for per, uh, for chop, perch as well, if they present and they want to attack on the surface. This one is really beautiful one. It's made by Bulgarian guy. It was gifted to me from friend. And I'm not casting that one anyway. <laughs> it's a walk the dock lure, but so beautiful. Look at these details. Uh, look at these guys, that's amazing. Amazing craftsman shift. Uh, some dual lures. Oh, this is the Orican Mushi. I'll show you how it looks like. So it has popping head. It has that um, weed guard. And these legs looks like a floating crayfish let's say it like this uh, savage gear poppers those are poppers that I really like they are quite good cast very far pop very well you can walk them that quite good um, what else? oh this is something from Aliexpress I believe you haven't seen it Okay, let me try to take it out. So, this is how it looks like. There we go, you put the trailer on the hook. And this one spins. And it's catching lots of big pike. Maybe the vibration from those spinners that they create attracts the pike. Quite good one. And it's cheap as well, it's I think 150 or something like that. Um, minnows, those are probably one of my favorite minnows. Those are made by Norris. And Porch really loves them. You can feel the vibration from the tail in your rod. This is how good they are. Uh, some copies of Elex. Uh, this is uh, pike lures as well. I haven't tried them. I have a few packs of them. Those are made by S Fishing, probably one of the best companies in uh, on AliExpress for soft plastics. They do really good stuff. Uh, what else? Maybe this is good. Yeah, this is for sea fishing. So when you catch like small sea fish, if they're poisonous or something. You can simply use it, I uh, don't remember how you open it, there you go. You catch it like this is a fish and you unhook it safely. 
Okay, let's move to my next box. There we go. <laughs> I know, guys. It's crazy, isn't it? So this is probably, if not the the best jerk baits. They are called Imakatsu Rio Print, Gekiasa, and this is number two suspending lures. Look at this how real it is. Yeah, I haven't tried them yet. I recently got them, so I haven't tried them. Some sea fishing lures. And this is, I think, made by Raid. I haven't tried that one yet. I bought it from somewhere. I don't remember from where. Ouch. There is another box of lures. Those. This is Mega Bass. Uh, this is Jekyll. This is Salmos. Imakatsu Dilemma Popper, that's quite a good one. Uh, Mega Bass Karashi. Jakao Pompadour, if I pronounce it right, I think should be good for maybe Pike and Chop. I haven't tried it as well. Uh, this is from Raid again, it's a vibration lure. I haven't tried it as well. Uh, this is Pachinko, I think. Yes, it is Pachinko. I haven't tried that one too. On the other side, it's even crazier. I don't want to open it. And we go to some soft plastics. Box number one. I think those will catch uh, good sized perch. However, I haven't had the time to try them. As well, uh, depths cover cut. They smashing the bass on these ones. I haven't tried them for perch. And then some big lures for bass. I don't know what this is or if it's gonna work on uh, on big perch. I think it should. Let me know what you think about it. It's quite a big one. And then so small boxes with soft plastics. I don't know where I bought them. Must be from Japan. There we go, some more. There's some interesting ones here. These ones are very strange lures. There we go, look at this. I'm wondering if Porch is gonna like it. I've seen people um, put that on a offset hook. I have to think of different ways of doing it. But when the summer comes and fish is more active, then I'm gonna try that one. Uh, again, some lures. There's some spinner lures for pike. And then we move to my next box. Well, that's my favorite box. This is all my jerk baits, small cranks, lures, everything I have. It's down here. However, I don't want to dig in it because that's a lot of lures that I have to go through. Another repriser from Imakatsu. That's Norris. Pachinko. Chinese lures, those are quite good for shallow water and pike. Some, uh, oh, this is this box. I have to show it to you. This is my, let's say, best box for fi sea fishing, and I haven't tried it even once. They're all new lures here. But simply because the sea is quite far and I don't want to travel far. This is green mackerel. Actually, I can use them in grease, but I don't have that kind of rod to cast it. This is probably one of 
maybe the best poppers if I can say that. I have seen this lure selling for 70 to 100 pounds on AliExpress because it's discontinued, uh, I mean on uh, eBay. It's discontinued and very hard to find. Uh, Ima, Dool, those are, uh, this is Rapawa, this is uh, Hunt House, there's some copies here as well. On this side, mm, which one? So I don't know if people who fishing bass looking at the moment or will look at this uh, video. PDG, this lure is crazy, guys. It's like roll like this, rolls like this when you uh, reel it in. It has very small lip. I don't know if you have heard of it, but that's quite good. And yeah, that's it from this box. And I think the video is gonna become too big, guys. So I'm just gonna stop here and I'm just gonna show you my last box. This is my box of soft plastics. So as you see, I bet more on the hard plastics. I really do like them. Enjoy the video and see you in the next one.